Hey, this is Zach with MusclesAndVeggies.com. And today I wanted to introduce a little bit of a controversial subject. Uh, a lot of people think that eating five or six small meals a day uh, supposedly raises your metabolism and helps you burn more calories. Uh, in fact, that's a lot of the recommendations that people are giving to insulin resistant or type 2 diabetics. Uh, so I wanted to highlight a study specifically talking about six small meals a day versus two large meals with intermittent fasting. So that's what we're going to look at here today. This study actually uh, clearly defines what we have going on here. So they tested 27 individuals on two large meals a day, breakfast and lunch, compared to six smaller meals um, in 27 other individuals. So basically what they did is they took the exact same amount of calories and they split this up into two large meals with intermittent fasting and six small meals spread throughout the entire day. Now, um, all of these individuals were type 2 diabetic. So they all had high glucose, high insulin, and were on medications. So this is the conclusion that they found at the end of this study. Eating only breakfast and lunch reduced body weight. So they lost the most weight. Uh, the most uh, HFC or hepatic fat, so that's liver fat, they lost or reversed more of their fatty liver. Uh, their fasting plasma glucose or their fasting glucose levels were lower. And this is the most important, uh, they had increased oral glucose tests. So they were actually more insulin sensitive after doing the intermittent fasting with two large meals in a day, rather than doing the same calories split up into six meals. These results suggest that type two diabetic patients on a hypoenergetic diet eating larger breakfasts and lunches may be more beneficial than six smaller meals during the day. So what does this all mean? Well, let's look at the theory of why this basically wouldn't make any sense from an insulin standpoint. Uh, when insulin is high in the fed state that you'll see up here, um, what we have is storage. So glycogen synthesis and fat synthesis and protein synthesis, okay? That means that we are storing glycogen in the muscles and the liver, we are storing fat, and that we are breaking down protein and utilizing protein in different areas of the body with insulin. Now in the fasted state, or basically in the low insulin state, we have, a, glucagon and glucagon actually stimulates lipolysis now lipolysis here what it actually is is breaking down lipids into fat energy so we're burning fat for fuel that's why this causes ketogenesis um, so basically insulin stores the fat glucagon burns it now if type 2 diabetes is a problem of insulin resistance from insulin being too high then we can reverse it by creating insulin sensitivity you can lose weight on both diets. Here's the, here's the caveat though, six small meals a day to get your insulin to drop low enough to be in lipolysis in between those six small meals every two hours or every two to three hours, you would have to eat like a hummingbird to get your insulin to come down that low so you can burn fat. Whereas the two large meals a day uh, that you actually can eat till you're satiated uh, your insulin remains low if it's a low carbohydrate meal, and you continue to be in lipolysis uh, for the major part of that day. Now, who would rather be really, really hungry every two hours and eating like a hummingbird, or be very satiated and full off your meals and carry on your throughout the day and not having to pre-pack or pre-make all these meals? Um, so. It's very clear that the, the evidence in this study really points to uh, what's the easier, healthier way to go here, which is intermittent fasting with larger meals, low carbohydrate, not stimulating insulin, making sure we're fat burning, creating that lipolysis. I hope this helped. I hope you learned something from this. If you did, hit the like button or share this with somebody who maybe eats six small meals a day. And then if you want to learn more with me, hit the subscribe button below and stay tuned.
to musclesandveggies.com. Thanks a lot for watching.